Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and how excited are you all when you think about the words cringe? I think a lot of us on the internet have grown up with it, have come to experience it, and it's become part of our internet, like, vernacular, if you will. We all like looking at cringe. Now, when it comes to Reddit, it's all filled with cringe. And of course, while the entire site may be that case, there are specific Reddits just celebrated to that specific cause, such as r slash cringe, when it just hurts to watch, okay? Now again, this is a general viewing of cringe. We've got about 1.3 million members sharing the cringe material on this website, okay? Of course, some of the posts are very lighthearted. Like some of them are Uber don't eat. Have you ever seen this Uber ad? Okay, it's literally where like people order random shit off Uber and apparently the people inside there just eat whatever they see. Honey, I just ordered some Clorox. Are we down to go? No, don't do it. Don't eat the stick of deodorant. <laughs> Don't eat anything that's not meant for human consumption. There you go. It's a pretty cringy advertisement, but it is what it is. There's also r slash hilarious cringe, like ha 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 ha, not sad enough for r slash cringe. Too creepy for just neck beard things. Ladies and gentlemen, hilarious cringe is one of those uh, subreddits. Now, of course, these two aren't the largest reddits regarding cringe. In fact, the largest is r slash cringe topia. Now, for those people who are watching the video and are not playing Mass Effect on a second monitor, yes, that is in fact a, you know, a furry profile picture right there. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it seems as though there's been some weird furry warfare going on. Now, of course, we're about to witness probably some of the most insane shit on the internet. We're about to probably witness some of the most unhinged crap we're about to read. Now, of course, this uh, subreddit isn't too terribly exciting, despite the fact it has one of the largest populations, 1.8 million members, with about 3.6 thousand being active at the moment in time. Now, of course, they post standard cringe like GTA 6. Oh, boys, I got it early. Uh, again, I don't understand how this is cringe. You can't lie on the Internet. You can't disprove that isn't GTA 6. Now, can you? Sometimes you get shit like this. I just had my first kiss like for real with a lady. Yeah, <laughs> your mom doesn't count. Yeah, but yours does. Start writing your will. <laughs> oh, are we straight up sharing nine gag? Ooh, maybe it's a good thing that this whole site was taken down. Of course, then you get some other shit like, uh, hey guys, have you ever seen like this CPU is dead? Here, watch this one. I don't even know why this is cringe, but somebody starts cooking a piece of spam on top of like a an NVIDIA GPU. How is this cringe? Okay, this is actually pretty awesome. This should be on r slash mildly interesting. Some dude's cooking using the power of gaming. Now, the thing with cringe subreddits or really any communities like this is they do require a degree of moderation. You know, it used to be years ago, people were just sharing cringy stuff without any sort of weird agenda posting or anything. And that was pretty much what it came down to. But the reason I and many others stopped really partaking in the Cringetopia reddits, at least this is what I've talked to with friends, you know, in Discord, is uh, there, there always seemed to be a little bit of an agenda being pushed the last two years. Like, it started becoming less about the cringe and more about just like, hey guys, fuck these people. And then those people would come to the reddit and they would have like a giant war between each other, arguing in the comments, you know, basically going ape shit. And it wasn't really about the cringe, okay? And basically because of it, some of these communities, some members in them, started to, of course, harass and brigade individuals, okay? It became an issue in not just Cringetopia, but a lot of subreddits that actually got taken down. Reddit, as it grows larger as a company, is actually a lot more involved in issuing some level of moderation requirements for incredibly large communities like this, right? Like, if you have a community like this, like, for instance, Livestream Fails as a community, right? If somebody gets posted on LSF that's a smaller streamer, there needs to be some practices to try to prevent as much brigading or harassment to that person. If somebody posts a truly cringy clip on, on LSF of somebody doing some dumb shit, there's unfortunately going to be some level of harassment or some level of brigading to that individual. Now, again, regarding the size of a channel, right? Like, if let's say it's a small channel and they get brigaded by a post that has, like, 40,000 upvotes on LSF, it makes the LSF community look bad because all of a sudden those people didn't decide to just look at the cringe, call it a day, move on to the next post like normal people. They decided to jump into a board and level some harassment. That started to happen on numerous boards, and some of it could have been tied back to Cringetopia, okay? Now, 14 days ago, this post was made. Current state of the subreddit. The admins will probably try to silence us and remove this post. Don't let them.
Now, I remember when I was covering a the, the Acer Thorn video about a week ago, uh, I actually looked at, um, I actually saw this furry profile picture and I totally like didn't even get the fact that this was taken over at the time. But this was a post made just a week even before that. Just wanted to let you guys know that Reddit has made a lot of administrative changes recently, what we were just talking about. We don't exactly fit the wholesome 100 vision that Reddit corporate has adopted for the site in light of their upcoming IPO. They have been removing some of our best posts and banning some of our best users for frivolous reasons. Some of our moderators have been banned recently, without warning, for seemingly no reason at all, including the creator-owner of the sub. Reddit is taking actions against us without any explanation at all, either before or after the fact, so it looks like they will probably just take the subreddit down and give in to their favorite power jannies, as in tradition. Uh, I'll be honest, I, I have no idea what the hell a fucking uh, power janny... Oh, I, I guess it's just a janitor of the image board or forum who do their job for free. It's a it's a thankless affair, but yeah, there it is. Mr. Positive didn't really care, but now the admins have banned his girlfriend for no reason whatsoever, and there's no way for her to even appeal. Here's proof that they are two different people posting in good faith. So again, they've got some banned messages going around, literally two actual different individuals with different accounts posting. And of course, Reddit has permanently suspended them for using alternate accounts to evade subreddit bans because Reddit believed those two users were one and the same. Just my opinion, but women shouldn't have to worry about being banned because Reddit doesn't like their boyfriends. That's not very wholesome 100 at all. It could happen to you. Anyways, I'm. this is where it gets wild, okay? I want you to prepare your butt cheeks for this one. Anyways, I'm sure most of you don't actually give a shit and I wouldn't blame you, but is Martin Luther King... <laughs> Injustice everywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. I just, I just want to reiterate. I don't. I don't think MLK was ever uh, was ever thinking of a uh, Reddit moderators, but whatever floats your boats. Anyways, it led to the new thing, right? We would also like. To, for you to know that we are now a standalone platform with a shitload of exciting new features for all your cringe and cringe community needs. I don't know, man. I just look at cringe. I don't want to get into the communities of it. The moment you got me signing on a Discord servers and forum posts for this shit, it ain't happening. We've been talking about it for half a year now. Mainly, we just want a space where we can have less serious, more fun environment with content and culture that is not being slowly homogenized with the rise of Reddit. Can we just admit this is just a roundabout way of banning Innovating. Like, you want to keep the community before Reddit inadvertently just shuts it down. We also think it would help to give a better place to host the more controversial content that we get here. We have been getting brigaded heavily by other subs. Fairly tame posts have been getting four to 800 reports. And yes, I am serious. If we don't review each and every one of these, AEOs, Reddit's paid thought police division, takes action against the sub. So effectively, they didn't want to moderate the fucking subreddit. They didn't want to keep it around. They effectively just let it go thrown to the wolves. Now, normally, one person would just, you know, consider, okay, fine. We don't care about the subreddit. Obviously, we don't want to, like, you know, clean the filth over here. We don't want to, like, clean it every once in a while. We don't want to make it compliant to Reddit standards. What does one do? Just quit the board, shut it down, call it a day? No, it then has to become some CIA-level psyop. Now, the site in this question is Cringetopia. I don't really want to jump into it because I don't really trust any random site made by the people who host these kind of communities because uh, Lord knows what kind of backdoors exist on this. Lord knows what kind of security gaps exist on sites like that. Just ain't happening. Now, I don't have to remind you, this is when Cringetopia went full fucking meta, okay? The moment when you're quoting MLK. Whew, I've never seen anything cringier than that. Now, of course, when I actually look at the actual post over here by the user, surprise, surprise, that account has been suspended. I don't know what's going on. Maybe Reddit sent out John Wick and these guys just pissed on the dog. And uh, he's just going after him. These accounts are getting taken down. It got to the point where one of the mods, like one of the head mods over there, Eln, was basically just sort of like the one that was the lightning rod for the entire anger of the community at the time. To the point where like even a mod post came in where it says, hey everyone, it seems I'm the only sane mod left. I don't think there's any sanity here. Everyone has, everyone else has gotten in trouble or inactive. Eln hasn't been able to demod me or anything like that. And I want to assure you that I'm looking at solutions to this issue. Again, we thought this was just a simple issue. 
two weeks ago. Of course, then came just a day later. Hey, Cringetopians, it's been a pretty eventful 24 hours, hasn't it? There was no ceasefire of furry and anti-furry action going on here. You'll all be glad to know that after an intense roleplay battle... <laughs> Woo! The furry mods have managed to defeat the Grand Edgelord Eln in the heat of battle. My fursona chopped his elf character's head clean off with a giant... Si Mod post, by the way. Shit was so cash. And now we have wrestled full control of the subreddit back from his evil clutches... You all can rest knowing that he will no longer hurt your delicate sensibilities anymore. Now that us furries have full say in how things are run around here, you're going to see a lot of major changes. Primarily, the subreddit will now be a permanently pro-furry space, and any anti-furry sentiment will be resulting in an instant permaban. The previous moderation team were all too happy to let rampant fur fur phobia fester unchecked, and it's time that I put my towel on <laughs> to stop to it comments have also been re-enabled with a caveat that they must all be an explicit support of furry rights i hope we can all quickly put the previous dramatic events behind us and usher in a new fun and inclusive era of furrytopia cheers corvus calvaria the hell raven now of course what happened over here was a new mod post basically being put into the situation so effectively they went into the auto moderation bot and basically changed it to the point where like you had to basically say i love furries i love that shit one of the auto mods over here literally does say to constantly go to their new website, which I still don't recommend you do it. But they did actually throw the bot into an infinite feedback loop, and I'm going to show that to you in a second. I think these two users say it the best. This is a joke, right? Cringe is subjective, and we shouldn't force our opinions onto others by forcing them to say phrases such as, I support furry pride. This is no different than that power mod. If you want a pro furry space, then make a subreddit especially for that, so you have people that are comfortable rather than uncomfortable. I understand that you don't want your hobby or choices to be called cringe, but it's important that we all call each other cringe, because let's face it, literally everything a human can do is cringe. Please think rationally rather than forcing your lifestyle choices onto us because it's no different than those who have forces their who, who have forced their choices onto you otherwise the war will just continue this is a post on a cringe topia subreddit by the way to which one person says i support furry pride it's the same mod team mocking you and claiming that if you didn't like how it was before you're a wholesome furry lover who won't support the true cringe topia on their website Again, them constantly pushing their own website. Basically, it's a shitty LARP that they're running to mock their user base, except all it does is make them look stupid. Now, what's really funny is when every time you saw people starting their posts with I support the furries or everything, they actually went to the auto moderator bot and screwed up the subreddit moderation so bad that the auto moderator started to freak out. Literally within the same day, it would tell people, hello, your comment was removed because it did not include the phrase I support furry pride. And the same day it said, inshallah, your comment was removed because it did not include the phrase I hate furry. So literally you could not win if you were posting onto this. The user base for this entire board was just basically destroyed overnight now again to really reiterate because we've jumped into a lot of furry warfare and cringe posting and basically mod explanations what's really going on here is of course the moderator team knew that at some point listen they were getting so reported and they had no interest in actually moderating the subreddit that they knew that they were going to go down they made a website months ago and in order to do one final push one final just you know exodus they ran this weird furry op it seems in order to just guide people into the new website and just basically burn the whole board down now because of this the whole board isn't burned down right now it's actually a private board so again all of this happened for nothing this whole proxy war existed for no reason and it's not that a social media exodus can happen. Plenty of boards and communities oftentimes switch to their own websites or other locations. This isn't the first section to do it. The only funny thing about it is Cringetopia literally did the most cringiest thing, unironically, to achieve the same effect. But hey, it gets better. Look at how bad their automod scripting even got. We actually saw a Turing test happen live in person in front of us. It got so broken that it's created what is probably one of the longest common chain of both a bot and another bot constantly going at each other so this bot would tell you to go onto the cringetopia.org and the magic eye bot would say i'm not i don't know what the command is try help to see the commands i support and then it would just start an infinite feedback loop i swear to god it's two bots on a fucking website doing a turing test amongst each other it is hilarious dude
And then, of course, nine days ago, then the situation exceeded even further, to which one of the users, uh, one of the moderators, the new head mod, said, Ah, the furries have been overthrown. I have managed to return to Reddit and get the furry mods to step down from their power trip. We shall now return the sub to the state it was. It should be in all comments must include the I hate furries. Of course, that's where the whole moderation changed. Or be banned removed for 60 days. Post titles must include down with furries, all that stuff. Furthermore, in honor of Ramadan, there shall be no NSFW posts until sundown. It's supposed to be the whole month, not until the sundown goes, not, not until the sun goes down. Of course, one thing to ascertain is because they made the new website, they really wanted people to just switch over to the new website. And it really seems like most of the user base was like, no, no, we're not, we're not about to do that. And uh, I guess in some weird sort of like protest from the moderation community, from what I'm gathering, they wanted to just effectively nuke the entire board because basically turning it into a giant festering battleground anal pus of the entire website, Reddit would have no choice but to actually jump into this board and shut it down for good, which I think was probably the end goal of a lot of the moderators. Now, of course, the moderation team, specifically the new head mod, got a little bit serious in the situation. Where I guess it basically went into TLDR. Hey guys, we're all just pretending to be brain dead. Let's give you the real scoop. Let's give you the real 411. If you want a serious answer, we are trying to figure out if there's a way to allow posting with the limited number of mods left without the sub being immediately banned. If you want an example of how the sub acts without moderation, just look at the last few days. Site-wide violations galore when there was nothing preventing people posting like normal minus comments because there are not enough mods left. I saw a handful of people attempting to post cringe while everyone else just lost it and started to post ridiculous conspiracy theories. What happened is what was put into the original sticky. The admins have decided to ban this sub soon or replace the whole mod team. And so they banned almost all the active moderators a few weeks ago with no warnings. And then all but about four of them four days ago. This is a pattern of behavior that the admins have repeated over the years without fail. The admins had never admo uh, admonished us outside of disallowing users to post banned messages from places like FDS. We were worried that the ban on the sub would be really sudden and swift so that the site was made and advertised really quickly. Again, that Cringetopia website. The Automod spam was a bit much, and I am Mr. Positive extremely worried that the community would be destroyed. It kind of is. Reddit does not allow similar subs once the original is banned, and we and the users have put in a lot of work in starting the sub. Mr. P started off posting all the cringe himself the first few weeks of the sub, and we gradually built the sub from there. He definitely enjoys cringe and is responsible for getting the AMAs we had had over the years. That said, Elm had never been head mod here and it is not responsible to the site nor for shutting down the sub. That was the direction of the head mod and the creator joked and the creator mentioned above to avoid the sub being banned permanently. The person at the top of the mod list is head mod. The, person, the post was a joke and came a day after we had to close the sub. He figured it was obvious since the mod list shows who is the head mod. The screenshot of him using racial slurs is also fake, painfully so. That's why I don't really share those posts, because unless I can refresh a page and prove it, 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 it's so easy to Photoshop shit. It was made by a stalker and posted here months ago and was already addressed. The mod team did not expect the user base to react to obvious satire in such a way, nor did we expect all these baseless rumors by trolls to be taken as gospel. Like the idea that the website was monetized, we have done no such thing. It's currently run on Mr. P's dime and is only accepting donations. Nor are there other new mods to speak of, and they've been on the mod team for quite a bit. And yes, we have always had furry mods. So it never really was a war between anybody, but it was always just something that basically got fucked up because they decided to run this weird satirical operation. Now, I don't know if the subreddit will be truly shut down. I have to believe that since they were promoting a new competitor website to the subreddit that would probably be taken down as their fears were one of the reddit tos's actually state in your use of the services except and solely to the extent such a restriction is impermissible under applicable law you may not without our written agreement license sell transfer assign distribute host or otherwise commercially exploit the services or content modify prepare derivative works of disassemble decompile or reverse engineer any part of the service or content or access the services or content in order to build a similar or competitive website product or service except as permitted by 
by the Reddit API terms of use. So again, I assume that probably means you access the service to post people into leading them into a competitor Reddit-like scenario. So if your subreddit gets banned, people go to your, you know, other website that's basically a fundamental clone of what the subreddit was, right? Like you can't just create Cringetopia on its own website and then advertise it on the actual Reddit platform. That would be against TOS. And with the amount that they've done that, there's no doubt that this subreddit will probably end up being removed. Now, Reddit as a website is definitely geared towards an IPO, like somewhere to the point where they're apparently eyeing like some 10 to $15 IPO range when it becomes a publicly traded company. And of course, when it becomes a publicly traded company it really cannot have subreddits where moderation isn't done to at least a baseline level to satisfy a lot of the normal crowds that are jumping into reddit of course this is the cost of a community that started out on the real fringe sides of the internet now basically being amalgamated into this giant you know cultural force that it is now and it has to look clean, as clean as it can, before these things get publicly traded. Now, that being said, though, that was basically the death of r slash Cringetopia. And, of course, while that may be excessive, and sure, Cringetopia may somehow come back from all of this, you know, again, from the super cringe that they themselves exuberated in this entire last two weeks, but... I don't actually currently think that's actually going to happen. Now, I personally don't believe that Cringetopia is going to come back. I think what's effectively happened is the entire uh, subreddit is slowly going to die and phase out before it eventually gets the big ban hammer. Now, of course, what will happen is with a community that's 1.8 million strong, I'm sure micro subreddits will start to be made specifically around this and they'll get even more fringe than Cringetopia ended up becoming. To be real with you, Cringetopia wasn't even that great. Uh, I would say, you know, I, 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 the last time I ever truly visited it was well over a year ago. And to see it now in the state that it is, whew, let me tell you, it's, uh, it's definitely been, it definitely has shit the bed in some capacity. But that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, that was the tale of how Cringetopia died. It took one month for this to happen. An entire story of weird, furry, brigading, psyops, Manchurian candidate shit. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something, okay? It was a wild ride indeed, but the all wild rides come to an end. So if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.